What is going on everybody, Flamewood back here with another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an iron golem farm, or just an iron farm in 1.15.2 and above. So let's yeah, get into it. Alright, so here are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need some beds, um, just 12 beds in all, they don't have to be um, any specific color. Um, you're going to need some glass, you're going to need a building block of your choice, mine is smooth quartz slabs. You're going to need some water buckets, you're going to need some end rods string, carpets, you're going to need to get some villagers so if you're in survival you're going to have to find a way to transport them uh, creative it's not that big of a problem fletching tables, stone cutters, one soul sand uh, a couple oak fences, a couple daylight sensors you're going to need a pillager so um, if you're in survival you're going to have to go out and find a way to do that sometimes the patrols come through, creative not so, mu so much a problem you're also going to need a name tag and an anvil okay so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build up a couple blocks just in the air you can build this however high you want um, I'm just gonna build it this high it doesn't really matter um, just so you have enough room to work with with the um, killing chamber down below you can make it way up in the air if you want but there's a chance that the iron golems will move in the air and miss your killing chamber um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna build a platform out of my block of my choice not glass make sure it's a spawnable block because otherwise the golems won't be able to spawn so it's going to be a 12 by 12 area so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 and then you can destroy that block and then you're just going to fill this in okay so after you filled in uh, filled out your whole entire area what you're going to want to do is you're going to Take your glass and make a two high wall all the way around your um, platform just like this so that the golems can't escape. Um, so they just flood right to the center and then they drop down into the killing chamber. Um, so what you're going to do is you're just going to place in however fast you want it. Um, but it just needs to be a wall that's too high. After you have the wall you're going to take your water buckets and place one in each corner of your platform and then wait for that to flood in. And then I actually forgot a corner, whoops, um, just like that. And then it'll make this um, notch and you can just punch out this notch. This is where you're gonna, your golems are gonna drop down into the killing chamber. And you can kill them however you want, it doesn't really matter, um, just as long as the iron gets picked up. You can kill them with lava, which is the easiest. You can kill them with, I don't know, whatever you want. Just make it your own or just make it lava, it doesn't really matter. So what you're going to do now is you're going to want to take your glass and in one corner you're going to want to go two up just like this and then you want to grab your fletching table and your stone cutter just like this. So um, fletching table right there, place two blocks right there just for placeholder and place the stone cutters right there and then destroy these blocks just like that. Now what you're going to want to do is just take a placeholder block, come two out like this and then come out like this. Um, it's kind of hard to describe, but this is where your beds are going to go. So you place your beds right here, right here, and right here, and then you can destroy these placeholder blocks, um, just like that. And then what you want to do is you want to do your string um, right here and here, um, if you can see that, and then carpet on top of the string. Keep the string there because if you break the string, it'll break the carpets. Next, what you want to do is you want to take your end rod and end rods, and you want to put them right there on the carpet, and then one coming off this way and one coming off just like this and you kind of have to flip the end rod right here to around and then you just do that for the um, other corners but what you want to do is see how there's a single bed right here and then a double bed over here for this next corner you want a double bed right here and a single bed right here because um, you don't want a single bed and a single bed right here for some reason it just does not work so you're gonna want to go to up fletching table placeholder blocks stone cutters destroy the placeholders placeholder blocks right here so one two or just come off like that and then one two right there and then beds just like that destroy placeholder blocks string carpet and rods just like this and this is where your villagers are gonna go um, and then you have to do that for all four sides Okay, so now that you have all your um, modules in place for your villagers, you're going to want to come down to your hole in the floor, and you're going to want to find the middle four blocks of it. 
Um, so just these four blocks right here are your middle. And now what you want to do is come up three blocks just like this. So it's just like this. And then go up one more and then destroy everything right here. And then just put the four blocks right here. Then you want to take one of those not one of the blocks right here and just place in some soul sand. Um, doesn't matter which corner. And then you want to go up and surround the whole thing with um, a block. Um, prefer, uh, you want to surround it with glass. Um, and then just you can knock out those four pieces because you don't need them. Next you want to go up one more layer just like this. This will just help contain your pillager. Um, and then you want to take your oak fences and just like this and place it in every part except for the soul sand. Next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your anvil and your name tag and you're going to want to rename this so that your pillager does not despawn. So I'm just going to name it Bob um, just like this and I did not do it. Um, you can make sure to take it from the right one and then you can destroy your anvil. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab um, some slabs like this. So this is to pacify your pillager. You can do this um, anywhere but you can do it inside the farm too but it, if you're in survival it might make might make trans transporting the pillager easier if you depass if you pacify it before you move it. So what you want to do is you want to place in two slabs just like this, and then two blocks just like this, and then you want to just make a platform uh, out of glass so that nothing can spawn while you wait for the crossbow to break um, of the pillager, because then you can because then you can in case you get like knocked back by the arrows somehow. Um, so you want to put your pillager in there. Um, you don't if you you don't want to put it right in the corner because otherwise it's going to make making it so that the arrows don't hit you really annoying. So you kind of want to spawn them in kind of back there a little bit. Um, and then what you can do is you can kind of play around with it. I kind of spawn him in the middle right there, so I'm just going to kind of nudge him along just a little bit, just like that just to get him, just you kind of want to get him, you just don't want him pressed up in the corner. And then you add the name tag to him, and then you have to um, go into survival if you're in creative, and then you kind of just creep forward until he can see you. And then you just have to find a sweet spot where the arrows will lodge in the slabs, and he'll still be able to see you. Um, just like that, and then you just wait. Um, creative, if you're just spawning him from an egg, it's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes for his crossbow to break because he always spawns with a fully durable crossbow. But in survival, he might have already used the durability a little bit. So it, if you're in survival, it tends to take a little bit shorter. So yeah, just, just come. I'll come back when he's done. All right, so now that you got your villager pacified, um, which means he no longer has his crossbow, you can destroy these right here and then your platform as well, um, just like this. And then you're left with this. And now what you want to do is you want to place your daylight de uh, detectors on those blocks and then you can destroy these blocks right here that are connecting the oak uh, or the fence gates. Now what you want to do is you want to take your water bucket and just place it right on top of the um, soul sand block. This will help push him into the corner. You want to make sure you have these three um, fences uh, so that he gets caught in that corner right there and then you can place that pretty really easily. Now what all you have to do to complete um, the spawning portion of the um, chamber is to add the villagers. Um, so if you're in survival you can just run minecart tracks up into here. Um, whatever way you find easiest and creative it's really simple you just have to spawn. That's not, whoops, um, that's embarrassing. Um, Make sure if you're in creative that you don't mix up the villager and pillager spawn eggs because um, it would be really embarrassing if you do. Uh, but yeah, here's the villager spawn eggs and you just want to spawn them on the carpet. You just need three in each. Um, so nothing too special um, or too difficult in the old like 1.13 um, updates you had to have like 12 or, so, or like so many in each like side of it. Anyway, this should complete your um, your villager spawning thing, and you can make whatever killing chamber you want. It doesn't matter. You can make lava or whatever. Just make sure you have a way to collect the um, ingots when they do. And fall damage won't cut it because um, the golems are tough and they won't die to fall damage. 
Um, so now you may be wondering, like, hey, there's no golem spawning or anything. Um, these guys, the villagers have to sleep first, so it has to it has to turn to night. It has to go through one daylight cycle. So I'm just gonna time set night, just like this, and then I'm going to just hop in my bed right here, like this, and wait for it to be day, and then see, boom, iron golems are spawning. Simple, um, just like that, and then you can do it, and they'll crank out a lot of iron. Um, they'll spawn about every minute or two, um, and they can spawn f anywhere from one to four at a time. So yeah, that's how you make an iron iron farm. Really simple, um, really easy. It should only take you about 20 minutes of building time max, and then whatever time it takes for the pillager to pacify. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and yeah, flame move out.